world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident as you throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. These videos are short, sweet, and to the point, and each week we will target a specific item type. And at the end of this video, I will show you where you can find more in-depth videos to help make math your jam too. So our focus this week, the item type we will be working on is, drum roll, multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, here is our fifth grade problem for today. It says, which statement correctly compares one and 48 hundredths and 148. So we have two digits, sorry, two numbers, not digits. We have three digits in each number, one, four, and eight, but we can see that the values are different. Let me just kind of investigate the answer choices here. I know I'm gonna be comparing these two numbers, but it doesn't look like I'm using, you know, less than, greater than, or equal to when it's talking about comparing. It doesn't look like we're doing that here, right? We're trying to find the statement that correctly compares it. All right, so for A, I see that one and 48 hundredths is 10 times the value of 148. That's a lot for my brain to consider, but I see that what I'm trying to do is I'm jumping through place values, trying to see how the digits have been either increased or decreased in their place value. This would be easier if I quickly create a place value chart. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here, go right over here. And I'm gonna say, okay, here's where my decimal is, which means that this is the ones place, this is the tens place, and this one is the hundreds place. And then to the right of the decimal, We've got the tenths place and the hundredths place this is as far as we go with this problem. Okay, so we have two numbers. So I'm just going to create two numbers. See, this didn't take me very long to do. So we have one and 48 hundredths. We also have 148. Okay, so now I can see, look, when I go here, from my one in the ones place to the one in the hundreds place, I can see that each one, each digit has made one, two jumps. So we've, in this case, increased it by times 10 times 10, which really is 100 times. In the tenths place to the four in the tens place, we've increased 100 times. Two jumps, two hops through the place value is times 10 times 10, which is 100 times. Same thing with the eight, we've bumped it up by two place value jumps. So now that we know that, we know it's gonna be something with 100 times, either greater or less, depending on how they word it. So let's go in and look at each answer choice. So here I see that one and 48 hundredths is, which means is equal to 10 times the value of 148. Well, if I do this right here, 10 times 148, I know that's going to make 148 greater, 1,480. That is not equal to 1 and 48 hundredths. So that one is not correct. For choice B, it says 1 and 48 hundredths is 100 times the value of 148. If I were to solve that 100 times 148, that would make it even greater. That would make it 14,800. Up here would be 1,480, which is not equal to 1 and 48 hundredths, right? So B can also be eliminated. Remember, if you need to go back and rewind so you can see what I'm doing again to understand it, you have that option as well. For choice C, it says that 1 and 48 hundredths is 1 tenth of 148. I know that when I multiply a fraction by a whole number, it's going to make that whole number less. Now we're making it less and that's good, but we would only be making it 10 times less or one tenth of would be 14 and eight tenths. 
that's not equal to 1 and 48 hundredths. So it's got to be D, right? It's got to be D. We've already proven that A, B, and C are incorrect, but we've got to also make sure that D makes sense. Don't just select D as your answer. Make sure that you have the evidence behind it, the reasoning to prove it. So 1 and 48 hundredths is 1 hundredth, the value of 148. So now if I'm solving this right here, yes, we're going to make it smaller. And that we are going to make each digit go back two times, which would make it equal to 1 and 48 hundredths. So yes, D is our correct answer. If this were a paper-based test, you would make sure, of course, that you bubble your, in your answer completely. But on a computer-based test, you just make sure that you click the right one. And you could record all of these notes on scratch paper, too. Okay? So make sure that you have that one copied, and that's our problem for today. All right, everybody, this is a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards for math. And just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you and your students. So make sure that you check out the links around this video for more info. Okay, cool. All right. Before we go today, students, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You have to put in the effort. I believe in you, and I cannot wait to see you next time. All right? Bye!